from uh, MRUB. Uh, welcome uh, for this uh, new episode of uh, Emerge. I'm with uh, Veronique today. Thank you for joining. You're welcome. So it's a pleasure to be here. Yes, <laughs> it's a pleasure for me. So Veronique, you're, you're, you're working with uh, also with uh, MRUB. Um, I'm very glad and excited to have you here today mm -hmm. for several reasons. But first, because uh, you're working on the, on the property uh, side uh, with us and you're yeah. going to give some uh, insights today about the the, the market, yes. but also you have been for a while in this uh, in this market. For yeah. f how long have you been uh, working? It's, yeah, it's about seven years now. Yeah, so you yeah. all want the along these years. Mm -hmm. How did you see the the market changing in uh, in Bali? Because a lot of people who are who are listening mm -hmm. um, today um, or watching us on uh, on uh, on YouTube. Uh, come back to us, come to us yeah. and uh, uh, following the last podcast, but mm -hmm. I still have some questions. Yeah. And um, it, it's good to have you here today to, uh, to understand also mm -hmm. how this market changed mm -hmm. and uh, what is the current situation and yes. to see how it's going to evolve, yeah. to give them a few ideas because you can help them to find the right property also based mm -hmm. on their requirements and what they, yeah. they want to, uh, to, to do in Bali. Yeah. So h how, uh, uh, how how did you see the okay. the things changing? Okay. Yeah. So maybe I'll start a little bit with yeah. uh, how I start in the property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So first I was a property agent previously, and I started as a property agent when the market was like on the peak. We can say, you know, seven years ago, seven years back, it was like everything is already so expensive in Bali. Okay, not everywhere. Yeah. It's like example Seminyak. It's already rich for the plot of land, yeah, 100 square meter in the center of Seminyak. You will have to purchase for about 2 billion rupiah mm -hmm. for 100 square meter, which is right now it's come back again after a uh, pandemic, mm -hmm. right? So that's what happened when I just start, okay? And then after that, a few years later, like about, uh, because I start 2015 and it's on 2025 years later, uh, pandemic happened. So the price just like going down. Crash down. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even when it crashed down, it doesn't mean like everything just for sale. Some owners, they're like the one hold the money, uh, have money. They decided just not selling. But the one like really tight with their money and then they yeah. just selling very, you know, like below the market price, previous market well, price. Th this is very interesting what mm -hmm. you say. I mean, mm -hmm. there's two information on that. Mm -hmm. The first information is that we just come back to the price before pandemic. Mm -hmm. So even if uh, the price were going up the last few months for mm -hmm. the last two years, mm -hmm. it was going up just to reach the market price before uh, pandemic. From before pandemic. Yes. And that's, there is still mm -hmm. a lot of uh, opportunity mm -hmm. to take of because course. some people uh, that are listening, sometimes the question is, mm -hmm. Flo, do you think that uh, we already uh, reached the top of mm -hmm. the market and yeah. that it's a bubble or whatever. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, because we just reached the price mm -hmm. before pandemic on, on, on some properties. Yes. And the second point that is very interesting in your uh, what you're saying is that mm -hmm. property investment is not for short term, you know, because people didn't uh, sell it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when there is a crash or something, yes. people panic, you know, it's like yeah. crypto or investment, exactly. you can see everybody resell uh -huh. or, or bonds or shares. Yes. But when you have a property, you don't have to, you don't have to because when there's you, a crisis, know, just keep it. you know that the, yeah. the, the price will come back. Exactly. So, I mean, if you look at on the long term way, mm -hmm. 20 years ago or 30 years ago, mm -hmm. look at the price on the market and look at now. And we all know that in 10 or 20 years, mm -hmm. the price will reach again another top. Yeah. So yes, you have sometimes some mm -hmm. variation up and down. Yeah. But at the end, the real estate investment, mm -hmm. it, it's always something that brings you uh, something. Yes, uh, exactly. Unlike. So I'm come back about the cryptocurrency yeah. and stuff like that. Of course, it's also fluctuative. Yeah. Uh, but when you invest in property, you know that you hold something, you have that piece of yeah. land or you have that piece of house, you know, and even when uh, happened the pandemic for some people who who owns the property uh, example, like a villa or housing guest house, they don't like totally lost the money. Mm. 
they're renting it out still yeah. Yeah. just different way usually maybe they do a daily rental but after um, what happens they just change it become monthly or yearly yeah, yeah, exactly, they still yeah. get yeah, yeah, their yeah, yeah. income you Even know during it's not the covid at the time there mm-hmm. was a, there was still a lot of people were coming here because yes. bali became a place where they where want people to, prefer to yeah. be stuck in here yeah exactly <laughs> yeah 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 so yeah. so what you saw is where uh, mm-hmm. is what's a, a, a variation in term of uh a location also mm-hmm. where where people are looking at uh, properties depending let's say i want today mm-hmm. to have a um, return on investment mm-hmm. uh for daily rental mm-hmm. or, or monthly rental mm-hmm. um where where do you see people uh looking at at the moment and mm-hmm. what kind of maybe ROI they can expect mm-hmm. in each uh, area depending for sure on the occupancy rate yeah. because if we look at the occupancy in some areas it's still very very high eh? it yeah. is very high yeah. you know so okay um when we start looking at a certain area for rental daily rental uh it's always better to go where the tourism area it's already developed yeah. which is they already have a lot of restaurants because that's the reason why people come to this area because everything is already there they don't have to go so far you yeah. know take taxi just to go to the beach club yeah. or just to go to eat yeah. just to get some nice drinks cocktails sure. and stuff yeah. supermarket it's yeah. easy so of course it's number one it's still seminyak yeah. you know uh very very good point on that because yeah. a lot of people are always thinking about different property uh, mm-hmm. in different areas but seminyak is something that is still working yes, a it lot is, in terms of occupancy it is and especially after the pandemic because people just like to be in seminyak everything just there you know you do, and it's nice to walk because when you go example to changu you know the area of changu yeah, yeah, yeah. you at least need a scooter yeah, to you go need around a scooter and you know you have a lot of traffic <laughs> also, yes yeah. a lot yeah. of traffic in seminyak there's also like yeah. really really bad traffic yeah. but you still able to walk exactly, that's the yeah. thing in Seminyak yeah. they have a nice pedestrian where you can walk but when you're in Changu they already have a lot of restaurants beach club everywhere but again when you're on the street people just can crash yeah. to you you know because they don't have a proper pedestrians in Changu area exactly, yeah. but yeah. yeah again the first option it's always Seminyak yeah after the pandemic Seminyak just right away traffic again so we know that right away everyone just coming back to Seminyak And Changu it's another thing because the development it's going to that side right now yeah. a lot of beach club a big one you heard yeah, Atlas yeah. definitely yeah. so that's that's bring the market up for yeah. Changu area and, and you, yeah even have some uh, big property development uh, mm-hmm. I was, uh, that's true I and w- also um, a lot of people would like to uh, live there for long term instead yeah. of a holiday rental because we talk about holiday rental right so when it's come to holiday rental just go with a seminyak because seminyak still number yeah. one in Bali but when you're talking about monthly or yearly and then people gonna go to Changu or North Changu side or further down to Prerenan side yeah I think mm-hmm. this is uh, also a, a, a good point you mentioned is mm-hmm. the investment that you and the location is also depending on what you want to do yeah I think you're right seminyak if you want a daily rental mm-hmm. you just want to invest in a property for short term yeah. and uh, income recurrent income mm-hmm. this is a great location for sure yeah. because like you said all the beach club uh, are yeah. here or uh, all the bars or yes. the, the clubs uh, restaurants and especially also for you can rent to people from uh, over place in indonesia it's mm-hmm. very famous for people in jakarta yeah. or for people from singapore mm-hmm. um especially on the asian market it's yes. uh, it's very very famous However now now and we talk during during previous I think podcast before mm-hmm. a lot of people like you said come here also and move to to live here so they yeah. are here maybe for three, four months mm-hmm. during the winter season in Europe or yeah. in US and so they want to live themselves in in an area that is a bit more green I would say mm-hmm. like uh, Perenan or, mm-hmm. or Chengdu and these people are looking for this kind of sort of place that they mm-hmm. can rent it out when yeah. they are not not here yeah so the also the type the type of holidays and uh, uh and place to to to, to buy mm-hmm. uh are change also based also on the on the things i think that seven years ago people were not looking for place where they can live six months and rent six months yes so also the market has changed yes. in terms of investment mm-hmm. and in terms of uh, kind of properties i think mm-hmm. that they are looking yeah, for yeah. yeah yeah that's true because again 
it's a fact from the pandemic, you yeah. know, a lot of people work from home. So right now, a lot of digital nomad coming here. You can see all over Changu, they have everywhere. It's like co-working space, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, to assist all those digital nomads. And that's also generate the investment side, you know, for property. Yeah. So now you're not only looking when you want to invest in Bali, you're not only looking f to have a property for airbnb or you know daily rental only yeah. but you can consider those market for a long term exactly. so just do yeah. monthly or yearly you know it's of course less uh you know like management you don't really have to take management yeah. when you do that because you only have one person staying yeah, in your property yeah. for a long time i, I prefer uh -huh. long term also mm -hmm. rental than uh, short term and also in terms of cost uh, <laughs> is much more advantageous you know yes. you don't have to pay your commission mm -hmm. to uh, Airbnb, you don't mm -hmm. have to pay your laundry every day. Exactly. I exactly. mean, the, the ROI sometimes is, is much higher on mm -hmm. that. But what is the ROI you think today? Mm -hmm. Or I mean, in terms of capital gain, mm -hmm. because there is two things when we buy, a, I mean, mm -hmm. when people want to invest. Mm -hmm. The first thing is the capital gain mm -hmm. that you can get mm -hmm. if you have a freehold yes. or if you have a Akpakai or yeah. SGB, but mm -hmm. you own the property under your name, yeah. you can have a capital gain. So later, yeah. if I want to, to sell back, mm -hmm. I can have a capital gain on that mm -hmm. and reuse this profit maybe to invest in another one or, or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. or to leverage my uh, my investment. Mm -hmm. So this is the first thing is the capital gain. And the second is the, the rental um, mm -hmm. profit that I get for yeah. long term, etc. So let's say more in terms of ROI, in terms of uh, rental at the moment, what is, I hear sometimes 15%, 10%, yeah. um, 5%. So, so what is true? Where, where, where are the, the location? I, I, I guess it depends where, but yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a really great question because of course everybody really concerned about the ROI. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, the first thing, it has to be the location. If you're thinking about doing for a daily rental, yeah, your previous questions, it will be Seminyak, yeah. yeah? No matter what, Seminyak will generate more occupancy and then it's gonna bring more return in the end, okay? When we talk about daily rental. But when uh, you're considering not doing a daily rental, like monthly or yearly, and then you can, you know, spread the option for another location, example like Changgu mm. or Uluwatu, or Nusa Dua, because most of the time when foreigner come to Bali the first time for holiday, they gonna go to Seminyak. Yeah. But when they're ready in Bali, they don't know and they don't want to live in here. They don't want to be in Seminyak because of all the noises, yeah, 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 sure. traffic, you know. And so it's again, if you're looking for a investment for a long term, then you can uh, go a little bit to different area. Example like Changgu, Uluwatu, Nusa Dua, or even Pandawa, you know. People like around there. Why? Because it's less traffic, less busy. You have your privacy, you know. And Changgu not in Brawa side, yeah. Forget about Brawa. Okay. <laughs> okay? So go a little bit to the north, yeah, you know. Prerenan, wow. yes. Okay. That it will be nice for monthly or mm. yearly rental. But what, and the what, R ROI, yeah. yeah, okay, I'll be back to that. Yeah. The ROI, because it's what people want to know. Yes, <laughs> of yeah. course. Well, when we talk about the ROI, that it makes sense, actually. Yeah. It's about, we talk about 8 to 10%. Yeah. That it's more makes sense. Of course, when you already run the property, you already see the possibility for you to changing the price mm. because it's going to affect the ROI in the yeah. end. You will generate up to 15 to 20%. Yeah. It is possible. Yeah. Depends the location again. I, again, I guess. and yeah. and depends how unique your property, yeah. how you can attract your customer, you know, to have a comeback customer, you know, repeated cu yeah. customer to your property. So yeah, so because the the rating Airbnb also define everything. Yeah, yes, the, the, and this is also one of the episodes we mm -hmm. did. I think is is what material you use, mm -hmm. like wha which ar architect mm -hmm. you use, because it, it affects how is also your property last yes. because it, once you start to have daily rental every mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. when people are using the the shower four <laughs> times a day because they're in holidays they yes, go to the beach yes, and uh -huh. uh, uh, because uh, they uh, we have to you know when mm -hmm. people come in holiday you you take less care of the property than exactly. when it's yours you know exactly. so if the materials are not yeah. good mm -hmm. uh, um, sometimes we try to make it cheap for example mm -hmm. you know 
uh, on the price yeah. of construction. It can be to eight million per square meter to fifteen. Can be less, you know, <laughs> you yeah, know because be again, it's it's rental property. Yes. It's not for you to live, yes. you know. So. So it really mm-hmm. depends on so your rights on the right. I think in the the quality of the the property mm-hmm. and the location. Yes. I guess if you are close to the beach, five ten minutes mm-hmm. from the beach, or if you are tr- five minutes in Changu, mm-hmm. um, you uh, from the beach you will get a higher rental yes. than if you are even in inside uh, mm-hmm. the land mm-hmm. uh, in Seminyak. So. Yeah. But so it, it also depends on that. I yeah. think the, that will affect also yeah. the ROI. So we had a capital gain that yeah. was very high, mm-hmm. I think, the, the last few years. Mm-hmm. Uh, the demand. But, but, but yeah. when we talk about capital gain, it's really like in a certain area, example like Changu, mm-hmm. if you look back like uh, five years ago, okay, the capital gain massively increased because there's um, government involving you know they put ngop we call it like the the minimum of value of the land okay yeah very high they increase it so there is a minimum price that's uh (laughs) for each transaction this is not like a minimum it's like a limitation from the government so this is like a basic like a base for you to 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 pay your tax actually yeah Yeah? so it's called the ngop yeah this is uh, this is the the one that will be used for the tax Uh every year exactly so this one in changu area specifically they increase a lot but in Seminyak, it's remained the same. Yeah. So it's also uh, affected by the government decision. So if you go to Jimbaran side or Nusa Dua, there's not a lot of increment, yeah. you know? So in the end of the day, you can make more profit there, you know? I see, I see. Because the government didn't increase so much. Yeah. It, it, so uh. because the price is still uh, is low, but you mm-hmm. still have a capacity of... Uh, for the market make, make to profit, grow, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, you can exactly, you can yeah. sell yeah. it a little bit higher. So example, yeah. like in Jimbaran, the, the the value from the government is about 300 million example. Yeah. This is an example, yeah, not what happened right now. But you're selling it for 500 yeah. and then you put that, you know, paying tax and everything, you still make a profit from that, mm-hmm. you know, because mm-hmm. the value of the property in, the end, in front of the government is 300. Yeah. So, yeah. So you were sort of talking about Seminyak. Okay. Can you still <laughs> find some place in Semi- Seminac to buy there. on the market? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. But there are also people like previously already have the property or they got bankrupt because of mm-hmm. pandemic. They yeah. start selling it. Yeah. yeah, that's what happened before. But uh, right now, yes, there is. S- do, do you see also more people mm-hmm. coming to you for a land mm-hmm. itself or already a uh, villa built because Bali is uh, mm-hmm. I mean we can see when we go around mm-hmm. there is different option yeah. you can find the land yourself mm-hmm. and build it mm-hmm. and you can buy already a, mm-hmm. That's a, a right. villa or off plan we talked mm-hmm. already about off plan before yeah. so what what is the trend of the market mm-hmm. do you think it's I mean, for me, I think it's always better to, if you have time to build yourself, yes. because you're always much higher, for mm-hmm. sure, because uh, otherwise the developers, they have no job. Eh? If, <laughs> yeah. if they develop for you, it's because they're making money <laughs> yes. on that. So if yes. you do the same, you, you yeah. make a double uh-huh. uh, double profit on that. Uh, but how, how is the trend on the market? Okay, so right now, uh, what's available, it's more off-plan project. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Somehow, since pandemic, that's what I can say, Everyone just coming and then start making a construction business in Bali during the pandemic, you know? So right now, like really a lot of construction off plan. So they're selling as an off plan. And I still got a lot of inquiry where people want to do it also, you know? They want to be in the market selling an off plan project, you know? So they're looking, start looking for a land, which is land on this specific area, like you was asking Seminyak. It's not many, yeah. you know, so when it's going to be depends if they're like, OK, fair enough, help me to find an investment property in Seminyak. I will I would suggest them, OK, let's go with the building, yeah. like the one so that Seminyak already is more market of buy and of, sell at yes, the moment. For and the others are yeah, more uh, areas of development. Yes, yeah. correct, yeah. correct. That's great. I mean, uh, it means that yeah, there is opportunity for everybody yes. if they want to develop themselves uh-huh. or if they want to. If they have time. Yeah. Again, uh, building construction in Indonesia, 
in Bali specifically, it's not the same like in like in you know, most country, Western yeah. country. Yeah. So they really need to learn about that side as well, you know, yeah. because it's gonna be they're gonna face a lot of surprises in here, yeah. you know, and uh, they have to be able to deal with the local, you know. So if they well, have we time, can have, we can help them for that. Yes, <laughs> that's our services. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if they have time and they have the energy, yeah, to deal with the local people and then go ahead with the construction side and they need to be in here. So if they're like, they want to have a construction, but they still in their country, they need us definitely to watch sure, the we project. Can, yeah, we can do the, <laughs> we can do the yes. project management behind. But yes. yeah, and uh, for sure, yeah, you need, uh, you need time. Mm -hmm. So ROI is, uh, looks very interesting, mm -hmm. capital gain. There is some areas, I know some people, mm -hmm. and it's, it looks huge sometimes, but in Bingin, they, they took 300, 300%. Because uh, when, between when okay. they bought it uh, at the beginning of the COVID mm -hmm. and between now, so people were selling land at some yes. price. They developed and they sold it three times mm -hmm. the price. I was again in, uh, I was in Bingin a mm -hmm. few, I think a weeks ago or something, mm -hmm. I was there. Still the development there is, is crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. the, you have also new uh, clubs like Morabito yeah. that was uh, here, that is developing there. Mm -hmm. You have a uh, restaurant that are developing uh, almost every week. Um, how is the market in South? Because we talk a lot, uh, we talk a lot about Seminyak and Chengdu, Chengdu yeah. but I think half of the clients we have also uh, with Hammer at the moment mm -hmm. are looking either uh, in the South part, South part mm -hmm. or more in in the North. Uh, mm -hmm. for even last time we talked about uh, somebody was looking for lands around uh, Tabanan or yeah. something. So, mm -hmm. so people are really, uh, I think looking also for place where that's a bit uh you know yeah. out of the crowd yeah because i think the capital gain is mm -hmm. still uh, uh high yeah. there you know mm -hmm. i mean yes. because like you said seminyak we reached the point of mm -hmm. when we uh, before yeah. the pandemic mm -hmm. so if you want the roi the roi will be uh with something that you already exist because mm -hmm. you don't have land I mean, mm -hmm. you have land, but not so much. Not compared so much to option. Yeah. So, so the option is just is to buy something that uh, mm -hmm. is already here, yes. and uh, you have maybe some renovation to yes. do, depending the the status of the villa. But the south and the north, you mm -hmm. can really develop your own project. Yes. The villa that uh, is you with the material that you want, mm -hmm. that with the, the design that you mm -hmm. want. So I think it's also something interesting for people, and mm -hmm. there is a, a lot, I think, of capital gain to do that. Yeah. So, um how how is the, the the market there there is still a lot of of land or available yes when we are talking about south part yeah. or even we go to the north like maybe not to the north but uh southeast yeah, yeah. Uh, southwest sorry yeah. tabanan yeah. tabanan side like if you go further to nyanyi yeah. like that there are plenty yeah plot of land so when you're talking about construction if you want to do a project over there there's a lot of possibility yeah. because you still can get a very good value of land mm -hmm. over there yeah way way cheaper than Seminyak yeah. if you're buying yeah, a plot so of so land the potential is high yes yeah, you yeah. can you can imagine like in being in example 100 square meters for 300 million rupiah yeah. and in Seminyak it's already 2 billion yeah. so you you see the gap you can yeah. even with 2 billion you already did your construction you know yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. two billion. It, it's good mm -hmm. about uh, talking about the price here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if I have three hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollar now, mm -hmm. let's say three hundred thousand or five hundred thousand US dollar, mm -hmm. can I buy a land today mm -hmm. and build a villa? Is it enough? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be depends how big of yeah. the land that you want. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you're a and also the location. Yeah, but it will be a, it will be bigger than I was in Singapore a few days ago. <laughs> okay, it will and be definitely bigger than for, bigger than an apartment yes. in, in Singapore definitely, or in definitely, Melbourne, for definitely. example. Definitely, yeah. yeah. When we're talking about three hundred thousand up to five hundred thousand, you can buy the land. You can have enough money to have a construction and you have your dream home or yeah. your dream investment in here you know property rental in here so definitely it's possible so what what kind of uh, what size you uh... size in term of size depends on the location yeah. you can reach about 300 square meter up to 500 square meter wow that's big yeah Yes. That's very big. That's very yes. big for. Yes. I mean, for some people, it's for a the dream, land, dream home. Yeah. yeah, land or when a plot. When you live in Paris or in New York. <laughs> yeah. 
Three hundred square meter yeah. is huge. Yeah, Even yeah, my house great. is not that big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can develop more. <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, great, mm -hmm. good. Um, so now we, uh, what I, I want to say, ask also is uh, because you say that in Tabanan there is land, etc. Mm -hmm. I, th I think also that the zoning is uh, uh, in these areas are, are affecting also because do we have a mostly green zone mm. or can, do we find also some some zone where yeah. people can build yeah. because uh, Uluwatu has been a lot of green uh -huh. okay but some uh, most of of the area now mm -hmm. is in tourist area or, yeah. or yellow but how is the situation there mm -hmm. on the north of Antabanan? can you yeah. Of course, uh, the government is not making it some region all green. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they also want their people to live. Some yeah. people live there, so there are some part of the area it's a green zoned, and some part are a uh, yellow zone or pink or any yeah. kind of zone. So for people who are listening, gr a green mm -hmm. is agricultural zone. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, so in in Bali, we have a green zone, which is this is a agricultural zone where you only allow to have like a rice field or gardens yeah. and stuff like that. And in yellow zone, it's for residential, which is sometimes you can use it for renting a mm -hmm. rental also mm -hmm. but sometimes yeah. not so it's yeah. gonna be again yeah. we have to check yeah, well, on exactly. that area yeah. if it's allowed or not to have a re rental yeah. property over exactly. there you know and there's yeah. a pink zone or purple where you can get a license to have a hotel yeah, and it's stuff a touristic like that. zone yeah. yes yeah. touristic zone yeah. exactly so it depends again on ki what kind of investment mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you want to make a hotel mm -hmm. it's very important also to check because yes. your business has to be I mean, yes. all business have to be 100% mm -hmm. legal, but yeah. when it's an hotel, it's mm -hmm. even more restriction yes, and exactly. condition on that. Yeah. And, and I have recently experienced with my client where, uh, you know, he's looking for a big plot of land, like 50 square meter, uh, no, sorry, 50 ara. 50 ara yeah. yeah, so it's 5,000 square meter to yeah. 7,000 square meter. And he specifically want to run a rental business, like a resort. Yeah. And then I found a plot of land. It's a yellow zone. Yeah. And when I look in into it, like, is yeah. it possible to get a license later yeah. on? Not. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. the license is only for business, like opening a restaurant. It's yeah. possible. Having an office, it's possible, but not for a holiday yeah, rental. Not so, for holiday <laughs> rental. This is, it, it, exactly. It because some people uh, mm -hmm. come to us and say, oh, I think all the time, yeah, we, we should know if it's possible. No, it really depends also on the yeah, plot, uh -huh. you know. And also each plot mm -hmm. uh, of land, mm -hmm. there is a percentage mm -hmm. of construction. Exactly. You know, so yeah. it's not because it's yellow that everything... And then you can just you build can 100%. That. Exactly. No. We, you have to be careful when yeah. you buy something, mm -hmm. when you you lease something. Yes. You know, because again, there is two options. Mm -hmm. It's very important to remind that, mm -hmm. that you can own the land mm -hmm. under your name or you can lease the land but if you want to buy as a foreigner yeah. the land not lease old you can lease a, a, green, a green zone there is no problem you can lease but you will not be able to, to, to build. build. <laughs> but if you want to own it's impossible to convert mm -hmm. the, the green zone yeah. to, uh, to into your business mm -hmm. so it means that you cannot make <laughs> business on that and you cannot own yeah. it it's only for yeah. Indonesia that, that's why yeah. it's very important when uh, like foreigner want to do business in here yeah. they before they purchase anything they yeah. need to have a proper due diligence of yeah. the property which is we can help them yeah. right so this is very important make sure before you spend any cent of yeah. the money yeah just check it first you yeah. know don't do it in a rush because it's a big investment for exactly, you you know yeah, yeah. just take your time spend spend a little bit you know, small money just to secure for your it's future. An insurance, you know? yeah. It's exactly. an insurance, you know. Exactly. It's an insurance, you know. When you have a property at, at $300,000 or $500,000, mm -hmm. I mean, making a due diligence for $1,000 yeah. or something, is it's not a problem. Yeah. Um, so you can help also for that to find yes, out. Yes. And this is what you do, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's that's why uh, it's interesting. You look, when you look for the property, you always look at how is the the property mm -hmm. is it right for yes. for the business they want to do yeah. how long does it take in average because sometimes people have a, have a plan for example they say okay i want to buy something in bali mm -hmm. or in lombok because mm -hmm. we are not you're not just looking at here on the market we talk about other place also after but what's the average let's say i want now to buy i have three hundred thousand dollar uh and i have to come to Bali or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or maybe you can look why while, while I'm not mm -hmm. in Bali which is uh, also even better 
uh, how long is a transaction takes, you know, because uh, <laughs> some, some country is very quick, yeah. you know, in Indonesia, you know, the procedure can uh -huh. sometimes take time. That's uh, true. Between the moment I ask you, okay, I want to find something, let's say my requirements on the market, can, mm -hmm. can I find something maybe in two months for mm -hmm. or something or, it, the, or is it a very long process yeah it's actually everything depends yeah? yeah because again if you already have your property and everything on the legal side are complete yeah because we need to check the property first when everything are fine and uh, we can do the transaction right away to the notary and then it's Tomorrow we can do it, you know, we Perfect. can go. Okay, so <laughs> you know? come and buy. <laughs> so, exactly, it depends. But again, if you find a, a, a plot of land or a villa or a house, yeah. which is when we check, oh, they don't have a building permit. You cannot do a transaction when there's no building permit. Thank of you, a, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then when we check again the land, oh, it's on the green zone and you want to build something. No, you cannot. Yeah. No, no, you cannot. Yeah, in the exactly. end, you have to do another research yeah. to find the right land for exactly. you, right? Yeah. So it's really a matter of the the property yeah, in the it end. Depends you know, on the location. Yes, you depends on the for. the property that you found. Yeah. So you find. So if you find something that it's ready for transaction, yeah. tomorrow we go yeah, to that's the. Yeah, that's why. Seminyak, you want a transaction, yeah. it, it will be fast because. Mm -hmm. Everything is already. But it depends yeah. because some some locals that yeah. I can say they have a beautiful villa, but they don't have building permit. I know, I <laughs> so. know. This is the and we have this situation at the moment. <laughs> we have somebody that has uh, some villas so that it develop, mm -hmm. and uh, but there is no building permit. So yeah. and this take time. Yeah, mm -hmm. how long does it take? Uh, building permit takes. We are not talking about wow, one wow, or two wow, weeks. Wow, takes yeah. more time. Yeah. Eh? yeah. So this is that's why <laughs> when the transaction I would say to buy the transaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and to buy the property yes. is fast, mm -hmm. uh, but however, to be able to rent it out, mm -hmm. we have to have to take time. If mm -hmm. you have the building permit, it's quite fast. Yeah, making, a, making a company, or, it, it will or, be fast. Or, making or making a company, money, yes, uh, or giving to um, uh, or buying under your, your yeah. name or making a lease under your mm -hmm. name, it's very fast. Very fast however, exactly. getting the license it depends also on some conditions. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. a building permit. Yeah. You have it, so when when it's come to a building permit, yeah, example, if you if you want to have the building permit, it's gonna be depends on the government because sometimes like today, today it's a galungan, <laughs> so it's uh, all governor are <laughs> off, so <laughs> it's not yeah, happened in a, yes. <laughs> how, the how the office are open you know, about, yeah. but when we talk about example pondok wisata license, yeah, yeah that's for uh, residential. Um, sorry, for rental. Yeah. Yeah, for rental of your residential. Yeah. yeah, it's usually not that long. No. Okay, it's like few uh, one days. Yeah, yeah, it's very so it's, it's to get. depends. But but to get it, mm -hmm. you need some requirements. Yes, you exactly. Know, there is some requirements, yeah. and this can take time. This is mm -hmm. the building permit, etc. So mm -hmm. sometimes we want to take time to look at it, mm -hmm. but it's very important to to think before yeah. uh, at the beginning of the project mm -hmm. what you what you want to do. We're talking about Bali, but um, you were not looking only in Bali. I think there is also location. Mm -hmm. I know that's uh, Lombok. We have um, a lot of uh, clients also are yeah. coming now mm -hmm. because they are looking at over uh, location. Yeah. Because like we said, there is two kind of uh, revenue when mm -hmm. you, you invest in real estate. And I think nothing is comparable in terms of rental to Bali at the moment. Mm -hmm. And there is probably over places uh, in the world a few i would say for daily rental but mm -hmm. bali you can reach i mean uh, if you look at the air dna or on some yeah. data 85 hundred ninety percent even if you're inside the land 60 mm -hmm. or 65 percent mm -hmm. you cannot reach that in lombok for yeah. sure however the capital gain might be interesting in it's, lombok yeah. yes yeah. that's true because again the property in bali the price even the cheapest one it's still um the like much more expensive than in Lombok. Mm. So example in Bali, you can get 100 square meter for 300 million. Yeah. In Lombok, 100 square meter, you can get it for only 50 million. So what? that's already, wow. that's already Ima like imagine it's a, a third. big, <laughs> it's a third of the, of the amount. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then the things in Lombok, there's still plenty plenty like really plenty yeah, of empty land yeah. we had, we had, we had land. some people uh, that were looking mm -hmm. uh, in lombok mm -hmm. and a lot of transactions failed eh, because mm -hmm. the, the 
the zoning was not correct. Yeah. Uh, it's come back again yeah. about due diligence. Yeah, okay. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. once you do a proper due diligence, yes. and then of course you can. Important, yeah. Yes, you're right. You're you right. Can, and you can have the, a safe transaction. The, the access to the property, the yeah. access to the water, to access the yeah, electricity. Yeah, again, because it hasn't developed yeah, yet. Yeah. You know, so. because a lot of developers have offer a lot, lot of of place in mm -hmm. Nambuk, but it's. I mean, it's it's very developing, mm -hmm. but the, the the number of visitors is not as bad at the yes. moment. So there is a lot of uh, big development mm -hmm. that I think personally are, are overpriced. However, mm -hmm. if you develop your own, mm -hmm. I think your your property, your villa, etc., mm -hmm. um, you still have a lot of uh, of possibility to uh, to make a capital gain on yes, that because um, with a, a price that is cheap like at the moment. Mm -hmm. You can make a profit by developing yeah, yourself, exactly. uh, having a, exactly. a good uh, uh, architect yes. and a good uh, company to develop, mm -hmm. or us or another or yeah, a yeah. person to, to handle the, mm -hmm. the project is, is still mm -hmm. a, a high possibility for the people of course here, yeah. of course yeah. when we are talking about lombok because lombok still have time to grow yeah bali it's already like the brother like yeah. the big brother and that's yeah. the little brother yeah. to go yeah. so yeah so lombok still plenty space to go to grow yeah they have a lot of plot of land and then uh, of course the price is much more affordable compared to compared to here mm -hmm. and then they have a beautiful nature you know yeah. And yeah, the surrounding is amazing. Yeah, it's a yes, beautiful exactly. Island, yeah. The only things yeah. that okay, they already have international uh, airport yeah. right now, but it's not like from everywhere. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy direct. as Bali for sure, yes. for rich. But uh -huh. it's also what makes the place uh, unique, also mm -hmm. still unique, and uh, with a lot of beautiful surrounding. Yes. If you want to have a, a villa on the beach, mm -hmm. I mean, there, there is many areas yeah. that you can still find. Definitely. And 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 build a. I would say uh, uh, exclusive property. Mm. You know, yeah. yeah, you can find a property, uh, build an exclusive one with mm -hmm. I don't know four or five bedroom, etc., and uh, yeah. and uh, have a, a good time for yes. for your holiday for one week, mm -hmm. and you can come back to to Bali to party in Bali. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. it's, you can uh, you can have both. And yeah. and by the way, <laughs> don't only focus on Lombok because in yeah. Bali itself we have one island, yeah, yeah. Nusa Penida. Yeah. If you aware of that island yeah. or Nusa Lembongan. Yeah. If you look like if you search for a cheaper land value, you yeah. can go to that island yeah. also. You yeah. know, you just fly in here and then take a boat, which yeah. is only few minutes, like yeah, 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 half like, an uh, hour. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, hour, yeah, half an hour by speedboat. Yes, so, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So you get a better value on yeah. your land. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, you yeah. you still yeah. have the capital growth. And you and, and you have the capital goal. You're you're in a place that's uh, has the most beautiful uh, exactly. beaches Exactly. Of, uh, of and there's yeah. already a lot of tourists would love to go there. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. easy access yeah, from because, Bali. Yeah, uh, because this is uh, it's it's still a difficulty in uh, there is the, the accommodation there. It's mm -hmm. uh, sometimes yeah you try to find a villa or mm -hmm. it's only a few uh, hotels. Yes, and, uh, and yeah. mostly the budget hotel. High, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, well, the potential yeah. is easier. Honestly, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a very good idea. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, also Lembongan, there is yeah. still, but Penida is there is definitely with the, it's, the it's size. It's bigger, yeah. yes, yeah. because it's a bigger uh, after island. After the due diligence is very important there yeah. also, because mm -hmm. this is also one of the difficulty to build, mm -hmm. is the zoning there, so mm -hmm. it's, uh, but uh, with you, they probably can find the, the right property. Of course. Okay. <laughs> but thank you so much for, for, the, for today. Yes, yeah, my been, pleasure. Uh, a great time. Happy to share talk. with everybody yeah. right. who's watching. So if they, if they have questions, they can uh, yeah. comment, they can yeah. contact you. Yes. And uh, I'm sure they you can will reach Emmerhop directly. Yeah, <laughs> they will be happy to, to, uh, to have a talk with you on, yes. on their project. Uh, feel free yeah, to comment. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for, for this episode. And uh, I hope we, uh, we can talk soon uh, all together. Bye bye. <laughs>